guys calm down it was just a joke the beginning of the video was in kilometers per hour obviously this bike does not do 150 miles an hour um, so this is a 2017 uh, FZ07 Yamaha MT07 pretty much the same thing without the ugly headlight um, yeah sorry if that offends you um, so yeah today we're gonna do a top speed video I've been wanting to do this for quite a while I've had the bike for I don't know a month or so I don't think I've even hit a hundred on the bike um, this bike is more so it's more fun down low uh, like low-end torque is very good at wheelies and things like that and low-speed maneuvers uh, very comfortable um, kind of sporty looking bike but it's not a sport bike it's not anything like an inline uh, inline four or anything like that uh, yeah I know some of you might have caught that I almost said inline six <laughs> but yes it is not like an inline four like a GSXR or a ZX6R or anything like that um, it is a 600 and I want to say 89 cc one thing about this bike is if you drop a gear mid corner this tire will just kick out it's sketchy and I think it's because the stock tires are absolutely crap um, I won't blame it on the bike itself but the any bike that has low low end torque like that when you go to downshift your bike you will feel the whole thing wiggle um, <laughs> and I could change the gearing or anything you know could could help that but I like the low end torque and I like that this bike performs that way so yeah today sorry <laughs> rambling there so today we're gonna take this bike out we're gonna do a top speed run I used to own about a 10 years ago I had a 2013 Ninja 650 that topped out at I want to say 121 miles an hour I believe if I'm not mistaken it was 121 somewhere around there miles an hour so I'm gonna say this bike will be a little bit faster I know it's geared differently and things like that I want to say it's gonna be like a smidge faster uh, if I could hit like 125 I'd be impressed uh, I'm not expecting to 120 ish is probably ideal for a bike like this like the thing is is with a um, you know a naked upright um, very torquey the front end of this bike is super super light so going at high speeds period is just sketchy on any bike like that that's that's very light on the front end uh, you can get tank slappers you can get you know just just very sketchy um, so yeah uh, like anything over 100 miles an hour on a bike like this is probably gonna be a little bit sketchy um, especially if you've never well I would say especially if you have ridden something that is very well planted um, at high speeds like my GSX-R 750 or like a ZX-10 or you know an R1 or something like that those bikes at 150 160 170 miles an hour they feel rock solid where this bike does not feel like that over 100 whatsoever it just feels really light in the front end like the front end wants to kind of wobble just a little bit and it's just because there's so little on the front of this bike that it's so lightweight and the front end is just so super light um, where a, a sport bike also you're more hunched over you have more weight on the front um, I may eventually do different handlebars to um, correct some of that but for the time being we're just gonna go out here and we're gonna top her out just like she is she's um, she's got a full system Yoshimura R77 exhaust sounds amazing by the way <laughs> sounds amazing by the way and uh, yes it has a power commander 5 and then it has a tune on it that was done when the power commander was installed um, it has an airbox mod also I'm not gonna get too into detail but it does have some things done to it um, so a stock one may actually do a little bit more high-end speed or it could do a little bit less it depends on everything you know just the way the bike is set up um, I've ridden an FZ07 before that ha was basically bone stock back in like 2015 or 2014 and it felt nowhere near as torquey as this bike does so so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get to the top speed video like I said if I can hit 120 or above I'll be super stoked um, love this bike it's been you know it's been a lot of fun like going from you know my GSX-0750 to my KLX 300 and then back to this like this bike is a lot of fun it's like a it's like a very good in-between of like power 
um, weight, handling, everything. So, yeah, so let's get to it, guys. All right, here we go. guys so we topped her out she hit i believe i saw 124 i know i definitely saw 123 i think 124 flickered on the st on the dash for a second there and i'm happy with that 124 for you know a parallel twin 700 cc bike is pretty dang good right <laughs> that's more what this bike is made for so um like i said in the beginning i assumed it would do close to what my ninja 650 would do and i want to say my ninja 650 hit like 120 or somewhere around there um and this isn't the like the most ideal conditions it is a windy day and things like that so all variables aside 124 i'm happy with that realistically it's probably like 115 118 something like that whoa that that rear end sliding out a little bit <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I know this bike is not a speed demon or anything like that. So I'm stoked with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace, and we'll see you on the next video.